<laughs> Hi friends! Welcome back to my channel. I hope you can see me just fine. I hope you've been doing well, staying safe, and taking care of your mental health. In this video, I'm actually going to be talking about something that I researched extensively when I was in college because I was like, you know, trying to figure out the difference and deciding um, where I wanted to take my next step in terms of my career. So I wanted to talk about contract jobs versus full-time jobs. Now I'm still talking about software developing or being a software developer and a programmer. There's just two different types of jobs in the industry. First, actually, let's define in a broad sense what a contract job is. It's basically a job that is only for a fixed amount of time. So maybe a six month job, three month, 12 month, basically any job that isn't like a full time salary position is what I would consider a contract job. An agency contractor or a W2 contractor is basically you're working for an agency that bills you out to a client, meaning a recruiter or agency will reach out to you and let you know about a job offer that a company is looking for and they will hire you, you will be under their payroll and you will work for the company or client that the agency has assigned you to. Always do your research on agencies and recruiters because some of them can be a little bit shady. Again, just do your research with everything. <laughs> okay, so uh, the next type of contractor is an independent contractor. Now, this contractor only works for one client and Sometimes we're given by an agency, sometimes you can find them through an agency, but for the most part, the main difference between an independent contractor and an agency contractor is that the contractor will be paying um, your taxes. With the independent contracting, you don't get a W-2, so you're gonna be paying your own taxes out of your own pocket. And you will also be paying for vacation days, uh, sick days, health insurance, things like that, then an agency would sometimes take care of. But because of that, the hourly hate, the hourly, the hourly rate is going to be really high because you have to take care of those things by yourself. Next, there's the freelancer. Now, a freelancer has multiple different clients and multiple different like projects that they're working on. Now, this one is tough because it is basically running your own business. The difference between this and like the independent contractor is again, you're working for like one client for maybe six months or 12 months or so. But with the freelancer, you're working for, for multiple different clients and you have multiple different gigs. You have to come up with flyers or do people still do flyers now? Wow. Marketing, you have to come up with a portfolio, reaching out to clients, making sure that your overall skill set is on point because you, you can't really ask for help. Like, where are you gonna go ask for help, you know what I mean? So you need to really make sure that you know what you're doing when you are freelancing. Basically, you need to be an excellent programmer in order to earn that high, high hourly wage. All right, now that we specified what a contract job is, let's talk about a full-time salary position. Now, this is pretty self-explanatory. It's basically any job that is salary. There's no like fixed point of time that you need to work as in uh, you're gonna be working there forever <laughs> for the most part. Um, they give you benefits. They are paying your taxes for you. You get sick vacation. Uh, basically everything a regular industry job will give you a 401k as well, pension, things like that. Let's talk about the main differences between contract and full-time. With contract, typically the starting hourly is a lot higher than a full-time um, salaried position. Now that is because a lot of the things that I mentioned that a salaried position has, a contract job a lot of the times will not cover. So let's say, um, a contract position is offering you $100,000 a year and a salary position is offering you $80,000 a year. If you minus the pay time off, like holidays, uh, sick pay, sometimes you just don't feel well, you don't want to go to work, the vacation days, like Christmas time, you get three weeks off, health insurance, if you break your leg or something like that, you need that to be taken care of. Uh, taxes, the taxes that come out of your paycheck. If you subtract all of those from the contract position, you're probably looking at $80,000 a year as well. So for the most part, 
it's always kind of gonna balance out so i i wouldn't i wouldn't go into a contract job thinking you are getting this entire salary because keep in mind like i said every time you get that paycheck you're gonna have to budget out for the taxes that you're gonna have to pay in the end of the year you're gonna have to budget out in case you don't want to go to work that day you're gonna have to budget out because on, on holiday time you're not going to be getting paid so you need to make sure you're going to budget that out as well that was something i didn't really understand the difference until i started working uh, my full-time position right now another big difference is that um if you are like i mentioned if you're freelancing um it can be very tough in the beginning to find help i mean that in the sense of when you're in a salary position or even a, even some contract jobs like the six month, 12 month ones, you're going into an environment where people know that you're new. People know that you are just starting out in your career. So they are a lot more willing to help you. Or if you have a question about how to start this up, if you have a dumb question about Docker or something like that, there's someone to ask for help. When you were first starting out, it is rough like the learning curve from like school to industry is whew, okay it is very very high it's wait high or steep i don't know but you know you get the point it's very very tough so you're gonna need all the help that you can get so i definitely would not recommend uh your first job being like a freelance job i've talked to a few of my friends who started out a uh, contract it worked out well for a lot of them who went into a more long-term contract like a six month or a 12 month contract because they got to learn a lot in that time but a few of them who went in just freelancing it was a lot harder to justify uh, the, the wages that they were setting because they didn't have like a large portfolio and things like that. So you want to keep those in mind. Now, it is very, very situational whether you should be uh, choosing a contract position or a salary position, honestly, because if you don't care about uh, vacation days, uh, sick time, all that kind of stuff, then it's perfectly fine. If you are right out of school, like boot camp or self-taught or college and your first job is a contract job you better take it okay just take it it's perfectly fine a friend of mine did that and it actually turned into a full-time salary position that happens so you can work a contract job and they will make you salary so that's a possibility don't worry about that but again if you're not really tied down and you don't really um, care too much about the sick days or vacation days because you're just like hey i'll work six months and i'll have a six month vacation contracts for you baby but if you are more tied down uh you need stability if you are looking for upward mobility then a salary position would be more for you if you're looking more of like long term you're trying to be a supervisor a project manager um a vice president on the board whatever another thing to keep in mind is that um apparently from what I hear in the industry, contract jobs don't really have a huge weight on your resume. I guess it's because they are temporary positions. Personally, I feel like as long as you have the right wording on your resume, you can get away with anything. So I don't think having a contract job on your resume would hinder you at all, at all. Any job experience is good experience. Again, any job is a job. It's all about your experience, your resume, what you put into a table, the work that you're willing to put in to achieve your dreams so honestly just keep at it either way you're not gonna lose but to help you get there this video is thankfully sponsored by you guessed it skillshare i really do love them which is why i feel like i keep working with them because a lot of you actually do like to get the uh two months free premium membership so yay but if you if this is your first video that you're watching of mine and you don't know what skillshare is it's basically an online learning community where you can take 
some great classes and learn a new skill. For instance, I finished their JavaScript toolkit class, which is great. It helped me a lot at work. I'm currently taking their Python class and I said, like I said, in a few of these videos, I was wondering if I should um, take the class with you guys. You guys said yes. And I asked whether you wanted it to be like pre-recorded or live. A few of you said pre-recorded, so I'm going to do that. But of course, I will let you guys know when I will be doing a live stream because I was considering doing live, like live coding streams like every other week or so. I think that'd be really fun and we can just kind of code Python for an hour or so. But yeah, it's a really great online learning community. Honestly, I can't say anything bad about it. I've learned a lot from them, even their um, Thomas Frank class who I love him so much. He gets me through life sometimes. He got me through college. His class on there was great. So definitely check it out. I think it's worth the money. It's less than $10 a month, I believe for the yearly premium subscriptions. I personally think that it's worth it. So give it a try. And again, if you click on the link below, you get two months free of their premium subscription. The first 1,000 people, first 1,000 people to click on the link get the two months free premium membership. Let me know how you like the Python class because again, Python, Python, Python. <laughs> and with that being said, I hope you have a great weekend. My birthday is this weekend, so I will be social distancing in the mountains away from people. <laughs> I'm an introvert, so you guys know that's like my dream. So I will be celebrating that and hopefully you just celebrate life and be thankful for everything that you have because that usually helps me cope with a lot of things, just feeling grateful and being mindful. I hope I see you in the next video, friends. Stay safe, wash your hands, and bye.